Nail Maslam es uno de los analistas europeos más reputado en el universo de las criptodivisas, colaborador habitual de Forbes o de la CNBC, incluso de Reuters. En el Forex Day ha desvelado si realmente ha acabado este cripto invierno y si podemos esperar nuevas subidas para el Bitcoin en 2019. Is the crypto winter is over? Yes, it is over. It happened back in February when the price touched the 200 week moving average. I'm not talking about 200 day, I'm talking about 200 week. The price came and it kissed that moving average and ever since we were seeing higher lows, higher lows and the price started to move higher. Now, the major, other major signal came when the price crossed above the level of 5,000. That was a clear message that, okay, now we are moving higher. This is something called seasonality factor. The month of June is really good for cryptos, for Bitcoin. The five-year average for, bit, uh, for Bitcoin performance is in around 7 to 8%. So if you take the price, from the last month's closing, and then you project that by 8%, it's not gonna push the price to 10,000. The five year high is 25%. And remember, we have started the month of June by leaving the month of May with a 62% gain. So this sort of a retracement was very much expected, but I am optimistic that the price can easily go above 25%, which is the five year high. So we have two factors helping the Bitcoin price. A is the seasonality factor, and then B is a major enterprise entering into the space and announcing their own global coin. And this is gonna have a ripple effect because once Facebook does that, we have a major other corporates coming up. So the SEC has already delayed yes. the decision for the ETF for the time being. And they're, they're, they are continuously delaying the decision. They're not rejecting it, they're delaying it. There's a huge difference between that in sentiment. Futures volume on a regulated exchange such as CME has spiked up massively. We have made all time high on the CME futures during the last month. Because institutions have started to use those futures in their traditional strategies. Now, whether Boris becomes the next prime minister, I think he's a, he's a, he's a smart guy, but not smart enough for Juncker, because he will eat him alive. Even if he becomes a prime minister, we still have a gridlock in the parliament. The only solution is snap election and another referendum.